I'm Kristen with the Rogers Public Library and this week for Quilt Creations we made a little bear. So in your craft packet you should have your background for the fall sessions and three strips of brown quilling paper and then you should also have a quilling tool if you haven't gotten one before. So. If you don't have a quilling tool and you need one, just come to the library and let us know and we will give you one. And now I will show you how to make our bear. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take one of our brown strips and we're going to cut it in half. And we're going to take our half of that and put it on the little slit in our quilling tool and start rolling it up all the way down. So once it's all rolled up, we're just going to let it go, fluff it up a little, so we get a nice fat circle for the head of our bear. So we're going to close it up, just take some glue, put it on that last edge, and then fold it over. And this will be our bear's head. So we'll set the head aside for a moment. Then we're going to take another brown strip and we're going to use this whole piece to make his tummy and the rest of his body. So we'll roll this up into a big fat circle. And once that is a nice big fat circle, we'll let it go again. Fluff it up a little. And then when it is as big as you want it to be for his tummy, then we'll seal that one up too. All right, and then for the belly, we're going to, at the, wherever you want the top of your circle to be, we're going to kind of pinch two edges. So we make this little shape, kind of like an upside down ghost. And that way our head can go here in the center. So we can go ahead and put the body in the head on our background. All right, now we'll take our half length of brown. We're gonna fold that in half again and cut it to make two fourth lengths. Now we're gonna make our ears. So we we'll use each one of these to make one ear. So we will roll them up. And let it go. And then seal it. And then for these, we're gonna make little half circles. So again, we'll just kind of pinch the bottom. Like this. And then we can add it to our page. And you can put a little bit of glue 
on the side also just to help seal it against the bear's little head. So we'll do the same thing for the other ear. Seal it up. Make our little kind of half circle. <clears throat> and glue it on our page. So now we have our body, our head, and our two ears. Now we need to make the arms and legs. So we're gonna take our last strip of brown, cut it in half. And then cut those two halves in half so that we have fourths again. And we'll use one fourth for each arm and leg. So we'll just roll them up. And then we'll seal them. And then these we're going to pinch into teardrop shapes. And we will add them to our beer. So there's one arm. So we'll do that again. Seal it up, pinch it into that teardrop shape. This one I'm going to put on as a little leg instead. <clears throat> so our arms will go with the point facing up and our legs will go with the point towards the middle. We'll do this for all four pieces. Seal it up, pinch it into that teardrop. And then glue it on. Roll it up, seal it up, 
pinch it into our teardrop shape and then glue it on. So now we have our little bear and all that's left is to add the eyes. So you should have two tiny googly eyes in your packet. We'll just put a little drop of glue on each one and add them to our bear's face. And then we have our super cute little bear for our first quilt creation for the fall of 2022. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in two weeks for another quilt creation to add to our little forest scene. Bye!